Make holiday gatherings more delicious at Whole Foods Market. Whether you're the host or the guest who aims to impress, save now on baking essentials from 365 by Whole Foods Market. Need some extra help? Pick up crowd-pleasing flatbreads that are ready to heat or build a lovely charcuterie board with sales on specialty cheeses and meats. Holiday wines and beers are also on sale, starting at $7.99. Host the perfect holiday party with Whole Foods Market. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Welcome back to another episode of No Way Go. This is your host, Debbie. Welcome back to another episode of No Way Go. I'm your host, Debbie, and today we have some very special guests here in the studio. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi, Waco. My name is Yvonne. And my name is Hayden. And who are you guys here with? We are Alley Cat. Woo woo! Well, thank you guys so much for coming into the studio today. Um, one of the first questions I love to ask my guests when they come on the show is, what brought you to Waco? Or are you a Waco native? Tell me your Waco journey. Absolutely. Um, I am originally from South Texas, the RGV, uh, Port Isabel to be exact. Um, what brought us to Waco was actually my husband's job, SpaceX. And we love we SpaceX. Love SpaceX. Uh, especially when the house, you know, is shaking and <laughs> yeah. rocking. My um, windows rattling. Yeah. Um, and we've been here eight years now and wow. love the community here at Waco. That's amazing. Yeah. And I've been here for 12-ish, I guess, 12 and a half or something like that. I came here in 2011 to go to Baylor. Wow. And uh, got my degree in medical humanities. Wow. And I'm not doing anything with that <laughs> at the moment, um, but just stayed here. Um, yeah. A lot of people my age kind of sticking around and uh, investing in, in Waco and just kind of, I don't know, I think a lot of us just kind of silently looked at each other and said, what if we, instead of, because when, when I went to Baylor, everybody was talking about leaving Waco. You know, mm-hmm. you're here four years and you leave. Um, so it kind of was, what if we just kind of all stayed around and like, did some cool new stuff, yeah, and 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 it kind of has built built on itself. So I feel fortunate to be kind of part of that thrust in that community. I love that, and it's so amazing hearing that you guys have been a part of the Waco ecosystem for so long. Mm-hmm. Um, and your story actually resonates with so many other creatives I've had on the podcast. Um, they come here for school. Um, sometimes they leave, go off, get that culture, and then come back and bring it here in mm-hmm. Waco, or have lived other lives and then bring it here in Waco. So it's so important to see these perspectives here in our community, um, and then coming together to do some cool stuff. Um, so tell me how you two found each other and um, what you guys do. Sure. So um, we've worked together. Well, we know each other through other means, um, through just people that know each other, and that's how we met each other. But the the formation of our relationship and why we're still together and, and working together is um, that we work together at Dichotomy down mm-hmm. the street. Well, actually, just right outside Shout out this Brett. window. Shout out Dichotomy. We yeah. love you guys. And uh, so we worked together there for two years, three years? Two. Two wow. years. I was there for five. She was there for two. Wow. Um, and so we bartended together mm-hmm. there. And so um, we're taking this next step together as well. Yay. And we are here today to talk about the exciting event you guys are doing this weekend. So tell me all about it. Oh, we're so excited. Um, one day approached us mm-hmm. and uh, offered us, you know, the opportunity to do a pop up. Kyler, shout um, out. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. uh, at one day, and we we're so thankful for the community and, and they've just welcomed us, you know, with open arms. And so, yes, uh, Saturday we'll be there from six to one. Yep. Um, you know, doing the alley key, alley cat thing. Yeah, I love that. yeah. So we put together some drinks that we haven't put out before. Um, somewhat seasonal. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not um, totally that way, but they're inspired a little bit wintry cocktails, somewhat. Um, and so we're we're breaking them out just for this one day only. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it, uh, we we're, we're really um, thankful for that kind of. I mean, they're letting us take over their bar for a really? Saturday, which is which is awfully nice, especially during like the busiest month of the year. Yeah. So um, it's it's a good sign uh, and good collaboration that we're just glad to be part of. I love that. One day is going to have a full weekend. Friday night is their pop up market. They're going to mm-hmm. be hosting in collaboration with East Side. Right. You guys are doing a full bar takeover on Saturday. It sounds like one you're definitely not going to want to miss out on. Um, I know we talked about this a little bit before we were recording, but tell me about your business model. What do you guys do? 
Yeah, so it's it's a little bit um, it's it's a lot bit. Uh, we're figuring it out as we go. <laughs> um, so neither of us has uh, business ownership experience, and Same. Um, <laughs> we're just uh, fortunately, and and you know, we could kind of go off on a little side road about the uh, the help that we've had from people in, in Waco. There's yeah. so many people at different stages in the entrepreneurship journey yeah. um, that have have certainly helped us so far and continue to help us in the future. Um, but yeah, we um, our our main goal and our main kind of uh, passion is to have a brick and mortar spot uh, somewhere within like the edges of downtown. Somewhat is what we're hoping for. Uh, we want to be a neighborhood cocktail bar, and um, while we're waiting on that slash looking for that to to happen, we are uh, we're doing mobile stuff. So we're we've got a fully operational two well uh, bar cart that we can take anywhere um it's completely self-contained and um we're we're ready to work weddings and parties and host classes and and do all kinds of stuff um so that's kind of uh, a little pivot that we made earlier this year um when when we realized that it was going to take us a little bit longer to open up a physical space and so uh but it's actually been a really cool thing to uh I don't know, learn about and, and kind of be really flexible with in, in a very literal way is, is we can just show up anywhere. Um, and we don't have much overhead and we don't have much, um, it's where we we're able to do what, kind of whatever we want to do and whatever people will allow us to do. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We'll keep that as a part of our business as we go on into the next year, as we open up the brick and mortar and, and still keep doing really cool mobile bartending services. I love that. That sounds fantastic. And what would you say is like the main mission behind your business? So uh, I, I, a big word that we have is accessibility. Mm -hmm. um, we, we really want to, in every way, show that cocktails are, are really, at their core, simple and connective for everybody, um, everybody who chooses to, to drink them. Um, so many people... Um, are intimidated by them or whether it's it's making them in their own home or going out to a certain place or going out to with their friends or if they're concerned about what they're drinking you know like uh, there's so many like jokes about um, you know, getting something in a man's glass or like it's a girly cocktail mm -hmm. and there's all these kinds of things that these kind of barriers that people have built up in their minds and I, it, rightly so I mean it's it's kind of it's very understandable, but as somebody who I came into this, like we all, like everybody who does come into this industry knew nothing at some point. Yeah. And everybody who knows something at some point had somebody teach them or they learned it themselves and they kind of went through it. And so, you know, whether you have 50 years of experience or five days, there's something that you have to offer and there's something that you can enjoy. And um, that goes for the guest that's coming into our space that we're sharing with, um, that we're excited to serve. And that also goes for the people that we have the pleasure of working with and making sure that people feel um, like they have the um, the fulfillment of the workspace and and um, feel supported and and know that cocktails is a safe place to be. Um, it's to have a to have like a, a good job. Okay. You know, it's not it's not like dirty and um, less than or like it's not something that you do on the side and like what's your real job? It's something that's like very good in and of itself um and we want to just kind of we we've just been benefited so much by people who've had that approach and like it's infectious and so we want to kind of uh, work on that and and have that be something that waco um knows yeah definitely nurturing that and building a community mm -hmm. and um what I'm looking forward to the most is just uh, ensuring that everybody, as soon as they step in to Alley Cat, you are where you belong. Mm -hmm. Come as you are, build a community, um, and offering that level of hospitality mm -hmm. um, is definitely a top of our goal. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, one thing that we want to do um, when we have this space, which is we can't really do it when we don't have, when we only have the cart and we're kind of subject to the spaces that we yeah. roll into. Um, but one thing that we think about when we think about our plans for that space is when people come in, we want them to know that they're in the right place. Yeah. And um, that really requires a lot of us mm -hmm. uh, forethought on our, our uh, work and our planning and our communication and our training to make sure that people know that they are in the right place because that could mean a thousand different things for a thousand different people. But we want to um, 
show up as people need us to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. And again, thank you so much for sharing that with us and really just creating the space for our community um, to come together and enjoy some good cocktails. Mm -hmm. um, with that, we'll take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. And now for a word from our sponsors. Make holiday gatherings more delicious at Whole Foods Market. Whether you're the host or the guest who aims to impress, save now on baking essentials from 365 by Whole Foods Market. Need some extra help? Pick up crowd-pleasing flatbreads that are ready to heat or build a lovely charcuterie board with sales on specialty cheeses and meats. Holiday wines and beers are also on sale, starting at $7.99. Host the perfect holiday party with Whole Foods Market. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. And now, back to the episode. All right, and we're back. So we were just talking about this exciting event that's going to be happening this Saturday, um, full bar takeover. It's going to be an amazing event for um, accessibility and inclusivity in our community um, through some amazing drinks. Um, one of the first things I love to ask when we get back from break is, what would you guys like to see more of in Waco? I have a very bartender-specific answer to Ooh. that, and that is uh, late-night food. <gasps> yes! Oh, my gosh. There's none. We there, There's a thousand taco trucks, which we love <laughs> yes. and support and have very strong opinion. You know, you got your... your, your I have mine. Your Taco Z, your La Milpa, your Las Trancas, etc. Um, but I just can't believe... It. And it, not only are there not really any late-night spots besides taco trucks, but... Places close at like nine. Yeah. <laughs> so like, even if you get off shift at like eight, let's say you open the bar and you get off shift and it's eight o'clock. Okay, it's 8.15, 8.30. By the time you get somewhere, you're not going to, mm -hmm. now you don't want to be the person to order something at 8.30 because <laughs> they're trying to get out of there at nine. Yeah. So if there was a place like a Waffle House or mm -hmm. hopefully like a local like kind of Ooh. iteration of it. That we need a 24-hour diner. A 24-hour diner Ooh. would be awesome. But I mean, we guess we have like IHOP and stuff. Well, but but you know, but yeah, a place, cool. and especially on this side of thirty-five. Yeah, not the grease pit. It would be amazing. Yeah. They would make so much. You don't. You could have like a three-item menu. Yeah. And they would make so much money from hospitality workers mm -hmm. and other people who, you know, just like work an untraditional work schedule. Yeah. Um. Oh, let's go over to this place because they're open till two a.m. every day. Yeah. Oh man, I'd love. It could even be like. It doesn't even have to be like a. Like a, a building that'd be nice you could go in and sit down but just something that would be like it could be a, a, a window i love you that. know that i i everybody no that one's I ever talk said to, that so all of the bartenders and, and service people that i talk to are like yeah that'd be great we've just been <laughs> we've just been we've just been saying that for yeah, years yeah it'd be great so mm -hmm. that's what be, happens in waco that would be it just needs to be one too as long as it's, <laughs> as long as it's like good as long as it's good you know, it just, just needs to be one. I've got an idea. Okay. It'll be Ooh. next Ooh. to Alley Cat. That, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's perfect. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. already franchising. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Brand building. Yeah. Yeah. That'll Franchise building. Oh. Alligato. Um, Domo Alligato. Um, <laughs> rice bowls and whatever. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would like to see more family owned grocery stores. Oh, oh like yeah. That. Smaller, you know, like neighborhood grocery stores. Mm -hmm. Um, where they've got what maybe five six aisles, but mm. you find everything that you need. Um, yeah, I want to see more. That would be That'd absolutely be amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially providing fresh and local produce. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so lucky because I just found out actually one of the vendors at the farmers markets, um, the microgreens lady. She has a microgreens program. You can oh. subscribe every month at seven dollars. Um, I'll tag her in this, <laughs> um, but you can actually subscribe to her, um, and she will deliver fresh microgreens on your doorstep. Really? For seven dollars a month. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm literally that. like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I'm losing my mind. No brainer. Yeah. That's a no brainer. Yeah. You got to support that. You got to do that. Absolutely. I was like, microgreens for $7? <gasps> it's a deal. It's a done yeah. deal. So, um, yeah. so now you know about that. But there, awesome. what else? Yeah, what else yeah. do we have? Yeah. Um, we really need these, you know, local produce. We need local more, more local restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, food is what brings mm -hmm. people together. Cocktails is what brings people together. Sure. Um, yeah. There's nothing more that can build community than, you know, having a good drink and eating a good meal. Mm -hmm. um, and that's true for almost everybody, um, especially our local Wacoans. Yeah. Um, with that, of course, you know, it is coming up on the new year. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are talking about what you guys have going on, this hopes for a brick and mortar, but what are some of our goals for 2024? 
I mean, eyes are on the are on that biggest point is is to be open. Do you guys have a location in mind, or are you guys still just feeling? It we're out? we're still feeling it out. Um, we're optimistic, very cautiously optimistic about a thing or two that could work out. So we're not completely at ground zero, but yeah. we're like at ground one. Cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just takes one property. Um, so if you have one that's like anywhere between one thousand and three thousand square feet ish for reasonable <laughs> you know <laughs> like, like we, we 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 are we will be good tenants and we'll pay on time and stuff you know <laughs> but yeah it just it just takes one so that's yeah. our biggest thing uh this year we we has been a huge learning experience and we've done things pretty slowly but also we it's got hard. our LLC. Yeah. You know, we've we've got, I just got mine two weeks ago and yeah. I'm still reeling. <laughs> yeah, like the, the government gave us like this official looking document. Like, okay, we have yeah. a tax number. I got our QuickBooks account mm -hmm. set up, you know. So, you know, we feel good about those like really baby steps that baby entrepreneurs need mm -hmm. to do. So hopefully we can start taking a little bit larger, more like visible steps I in the new that. year. That's I mean that's all that I think about really, you know, I so I, I can't really think beyond that. I don't know. I mean, and definitely just pushing forward with our mobile bar. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have a wedding, you've got a, a party, an event, definitely hit us up, let us know. But growing that side of the business as well, like yeah. Hayden yeah. mentioned before, that will be a part of the business, a facet of the business that we will mm -hmm. continue once we have our, make, our brick and mortar. So yeah. definitely growing that as well. I love yeah. that. What we, what we, an ideal world would be we have the the brick and mortar open um everybody loves us we're super valuable in the community <laughs> and we you know just have a great time and our dreams come true but then people can come in and go wait are you serious you'll come like bartend my you know wedding mm -hmm. like yeah and so like it's something that they already would love yeah. you know they go no way check <laughs> this out you know um just like i would i would freak out yeah. if if I could hire some of my favorite bars mm -hmm. to, to show up for my events. That um, like that would be like, oh, we should definitely like splurge on that a little bit because this is going to be awesome. You know, so just like have that be be something that we can um, continue to like deliver. Yeah. In. Yeah. I love that. That's absolutely fantastic. And that's such a like good goal to have because it's not only qualitative, it's quantitative, mm -hmm. it's experiential. So, uh, yeah. You're creating something honestly like from nothing yeah. um, and building something in our community that's not here um and it sounds like again you guys have really just been such a cornerstone and getting involved and um really just meeting some amazing people in our community mm -hmm. that have helped you through this whole process mm -hmm. um which awesome. all entrepreneurs need um, especially yeah. here in waco yeah. um is there anybody you guys want to shout out that's helped you along this journey uh, there's a lot of people um Carol Ferguson's great. She knows everybody. Um, Key Waco um, Beautiful. Yeah, Key Waco Beautiful. She does everything, and she's super connective and, and always been a good support. Uh, Clint Trimble's been great. Mm -hmm. uh, he's kind of run this road already. There's many roads that I've run already, so he's <laughs> Glass he's Phoenix. Woo -woo. Yeah, Glass Phoenix out Glass there. Phoenix. Yeah. Um, those are two big people that come to mind. I love that. I mean, all, there, we have uh, a great set of people who um, – all of our friends are, are very like excited and supportive about us, you know, share our posts and whatever. But also there's a lot of people that I run into. Um, so like I'm at the wine shop right now mm -hmm. and there's people that, you know, come in and out and because. Shout out uh, Carter. Yeah, Carter's great. Whoop, whoop, yeah, we Carter, love you. Shout David. out some of our thoughts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so everybody, you know, people come in and be like, wait, you're doing like that bar thing, right? Like, <laughs> oh, well, I'm just like, that's so great. That's so cool. Like. We'll be there, you know? So mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of people whose names I don't know yeah. or, you know, just kind of in passing um, really give me confidence that this is something that people will find value in, you yeah. know? And that's, I guess, the, the flip side of, like, doing something that's mm -hmm. this, like, creative and, um, like you said, from nothing. It's mm -hmm. like, I hope that when we do all of this work and we really believe in it and we open the doors, I hope people care. Yeah. You know, I hope people show up that would be really sad if they didn't. And so, but I don't really have that fear so much anymore, whereas I would have, you know, in the first half of this year, certainly so. Um, just because the community at large has been so um, vocally, um, earnestly kind of behind us. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely wanting to shout out our community. Um, again, just kind of going back on what Hayden is saying, they've been so supportive. And anytime we've had like just a little setback, 
They're there with words of encouragement. Um, so definitely shout out to our community, our industry. We've I've met nothing but support yep. um, from other bars, bartenders, bar owners. Um, so super thankful for that. And uh, a shout out to my husband, Antonio, uh, yeah. who has been a big support and a source of never ending encouragement for me. Mm. So yeah. yeah, yeah, Tony's great. Yeah, and so Mackenzie yeah. as well <laughs> also does a lot of our graphics, my fiance. So um, very creative, very supportive, has been telling me this whole time about how good of an idea this is. Mm. So, um, and how, you know, much people need it and blah, blah, <laughs> blah. And really, um, uh, you know, makes me believe that, like what you were saying before about like, people need to come together over yeah. this kind of thing. Mm. Like, cause I'm just like, I just really like making drinks and like hosting. <laughs> is that noble? You know, is that worthwhile? The and spirit of hospitality. Yeah, and mm. she'll be like, it is. It's really like, you're mm. doing something that people need and people have always been doing. And, you know, so that, her perspective is really valuable. Yeah. yeah. And if it means anything, as soon as I saw you guys, what you guys are going to be doing, the pop up one day, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get in touch with these people. They're so cool. Yeah, so, no, thank you. really, thank again, you for inviting I'm, us. Yeah. I'm sure it's, I feel other people feel this way. Um, and just your accessibility and how I was able to slide in your DMs and reach out and get a talk with you guys. Mm -hmm. um, it's crazy how sometimes people forget that there's people behind the other side of the screen. 100%. Yeah. Um, and there's people on the other side of the bar, you know, like you, mm -hmm. you can just talk to them. They are also people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Absolutely. And yeah. again, just in providing that community, um, you know, that community context even. Um, but with that, of course, how can people get in touch with you? How can people find out more about what you're doing? Where can you find you? Find yeah. all the things. Uh, it's really, we're, we're at Alley Cat Waco on anything that we're on. So AlleyCatWaco.com, Alley Cat Waco on Instagram. Um, I set up a Venmo account. <laughs> <the other> <laughs> um, I think it's kind of all we have, but that's really all that you need. So we have booking forms we have information in like a booking form uh, on the website um, that'll just kind of ask you some questions if you want us to come to your house or, or at your wedding venue or something um, that helps us better to start that dialogue with you. Or if you just have any questions, um, you can reach out that way. Um, there also is a job application form on there. Uh, we're obviously not hiring right now, but <laughs> but but that will but be will something. Be, we yes. will be, will be. So um, that'll be something that we we appreciate too. But yeah. Um, Alley Cat Waco on, on Instagram is going to be, I have my notifications turned on for that. So that's why I saw your message so Yay. quickly. Um, whereas my personal stuff, I try to keep the notifications off. Keep the fence to down. Because yeah. I, I need to <laughs> not be on it so much. But um, but yeah, yeah, it's great. We want to connect with people and answer people's questions and if, for anything. I love that. Yeah. And um, of course, one last time, give us the who, what, when, and where for this weekend. Yes, we will be at one day uh, doing a bar takeover from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. We've got five or six new cocktails for you, and um, it's going to be great. Uh, really looking forward to seeing everybody uh, serving bartending in Waco. Um, I haven't done it in a couple months, four months or so, um, and so that's it feels good to, like, you know, break the rust off and, and, and see everybody and, and have, feel that energy again. I love that. Yes, Michael, please come out and um, show us your love. We can't wait to serve you. And yeah, we'll see you there on Saturday. Perfect. And is there anything else you want to share with our listeners today? Uh, thanks. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank, I mean, like, thanks. like, like, thanks, thanks for, um, thanks for caring and and uh, yeah. letting us be part of of any small thing. If you if you hang out one time or if you are a regular, you know, we, we really appreciate uh, connecting with you. Um, and we do care about um, the the time that we're sharing together, again, whether that's just the one time or with, like, we become best friends. Um, it's it's why we're doing this. It's ah, for you. Well, thank you for guys you, so Michael. much. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. It's been amazing having you on today. Um, thank you for sharing your experience and all the cool things you guys are going to be doing. Absolutely. Thank you so much yeah, for having you us. Yeah, thank you so Sydney. much. Yeah. Find us everywhere on all social media platforms, K-N-O-W underscore Waco. Check us out at roguemedianetwork.com and we're on YouTube under Rogue Media Network. Check out nowaco.com. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.
Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden Age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness of everything that's right so subscribe today and uh, follow us on instagram at bros bros heroes and if you don't i know where you live not really but please subscribe (laughs) bros and bros and heroes gonna tell you about bros and bros and heroes gonna tell you about I'm Hank. You might remember me from a show called King of the Hill. Check out Ma, a King of the Hill rewatch podcast. These boys ain't right, but they are funny. Find the Ma podcast anywhere you get your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. I tell you what. <laughs> hmm.